In the previous tutorial, we installed a Unity asset to load OBJ models at runtime in Unity. In this tutorial, we will add the c -sharp script that utilizes this asset. In the Unity Hub, open the Unity project from the previous tutorials. In the Unity Editor, let's open the script file from the previous tutorial to add the code for loading OBJ model to it. Under the project sections, open the scripts folder under the assets and double click the open file script to open it in your code editor. Let's add the dummies man namespace provided by the runtime OBJ importer package we installed in the previous tutorial. Let's also add the CZM for Unity namespace from the CZM package we installed in the set CZM and Google Maps API tutorial. I will add a public variable to assign the CZM subscene game object in the Unity editor to it. We will make this object apparent to our model later to allow correct geolocation. And I will add another public variable to assign the CZM Geo reference game object in the Unity editor to it. We will use its position to locate our model. In the previous tutorial on how to open a file, here we were debugging the data of the file we are opening. Let's comment this line out. We will convert the file data from string format to UTF-8 encoded bytes and assign them to a memory stream type of variable named text stream. Memory stream is a representative of bytes. We are converting the data to bytes because it is the format needed in the load method we will use soon after. Then we create a new game object named model to hold the model data. The OBJ loader class is provided by the namespace dummies man here from the runtime OBJ importer package we installed in the previous tutorial. This class has a load method that loads an OBJ model from a memory stream parameter, which we created here. I need to set back the scale of the model to its original form because the OBJ importer asset reverse the x-axis of the model by default. We do that by scaling the model to 1 on all its axes. Using the local scale method of the game objects transform. OK, let's set the position of the loaded model to be around the location of the searched address or the middle of the scene, so that when we load a new model, it will drop to the middle of the scene so it's easy to find. To position our loaded model, we will also need to find its center. To achieve this, I will create a method that returns the bounding box or bounds of the loaded model. Let's call the method getBound. We will create this method later. The center of the CZM scene is at 0, 0, 0 coordinates. If we subtract the center of the loaded model bounding box and the height of the terrain where the center of the scene or the search address is and add the height of the bounding box, we will get an approximate position where the loaded model should be if it is to be close to the address we are searching for in our app or game. In order to keep the position of the loaded model in place within the CZM 3D scene and avoid having it moving every time the camera moves, we need to make the loaded model a child of the CZM subscene game object and add a CZM globe anchor component to it. Transform.parent allows us to assign a parent using the parent object transform component. And we add the CZM globe anchor component to our loaded model. Okay, we are almost there. In the next tutorial, we will add the method that get the bounding box of the loaded model.